What's going on, guys? So today we're going to do another new deck. Uh, it's going to be based around the eight Immortal cards that dropped slowly. You guys, you guys might have saw them in the packs. I think the last one, card eight of eight, just dropped today. So you can see it right there, Zhongli Quan. So that is the last card. So we're going to go ahead and do a showcase now on these eight new cards and see how they play. So that's the that's the goal anyway. So let's check out the deck I built around, uh, titled Immortals Deck. So did kind of a history shell here. We're going to get the buff out of Alexa Alexander Hamilton. Uh, also went with the Ludwig buff as well. So that's going to get us some of our buffs. But let's check out some of these new cards down here. You can see I've got five here, six, seven, and the eighth one is up here at the top, Lu Dong Bin. But let's check them out. Starting, at, I'll just start at the bottom here. We got Han. I'm not even. I don't even know half these. I'm probably gonna butcher, but I'll give it my best attempt. But we got Xiang Z. Uh, if your deck has three or three or more eight immortal cards, you're musically minded, and eight immortal cards wherever they are gain plus ten until this is returned to your deck. Okay, so we're gonna get the buff now off of musically minded cards, and obviously the immortal cards. So we do have one musically minded card in our deck. Franz list three random cards in your hand, gain plus 14 until played. And we did include this card again for Alexander Hamilton because that card says uh, if your deck has one or more stage and screen cards, your history cards, wherever they are, gain plus nine. And then repeat if your deck has one or more musically minded cards, which it does. And our stage and screen card is the chrono photographic gun. So this card says when played, the card opposite and loses 100 this turn. So both those cards in the deck for Alexander Hamilton. And we do get, again, like I said, a little bit musically, musically minded cards get a little buff as well with this card so kind of nice little combo there uh we've got lee t lee tai gao uh when drawn your eight immortal cards wherever they are gain plus 14 until played so again just you're gonna see a lot of these cards buffing each other and then if your deck has six or more your marvelous medicine cards gain plus 30 this turn which we don't have any of those in the deck we've got he zangu uh, when played, if your deck has three or, three or more eight immortal cards, your plant life cards, wherever they are, gain plus 22 for two turns, and your immortals gain plus 10 for two turns. So we do not have any plants in the deck as well. My buddy actually uh, did build a, around a plant shell. He tried that out, and he said he felt like the, his plant shell was kind of weak, kind of held the deck back a little bit, so I opted not to do the plants just because of his advice with that. So I wanted to try something a little different. So we went with the uh, history buffing shell. Next up, I got Cow Guji. When played, if your deck has three or three or more of the immortal cards, your stage and screen cards, wherever they are, gain plus eighteen for two turns. So we do have one of those, and your immortal cards gain plus ten for two turns. Uh, we've got Zhang Gulao. If your deck has all eight immortals, which it does. Uh, your Immortals, wherever they are, gain plus 14 permanently. So that's kind of the must-have card. So you want all eight, so that way you're getting this permanent buff. Um, let's finish up with this bottom card here. So we have Ox in the deck. When drawn, if your deck has three or more Chinese folklore cards, they wherever they are, they gain plus eight permanently. So nice little another permanent buff. And you see we have tons of these Chinese folklore cards. All of these cards are Chinese folklore down here. And then we've got the one up here as well. So several, all eight. So it's going to get a nice buff. So basically another 64 every time we draw this card, permanent power. So that's pretty good. Uh, the last two right here that we haven't talked about, we've got uh, Zhongli Quan. Uh, when played, if played next to any of the Immortals, your uh, Occult cards, wherever they are, we don't have any in this deck, gain 15 for this round. And then when returned, your uh, Immortal cards, wherever they are, gain plus 10 permanently. So that's that's a good one there. Another permanent buff. And finally, we got Long Lan Kaihi. <laughs> when drawing your Immortal cards, wherever they are, get a nice discount, minus one for three turns. 
And then if you play this next to He Zangu, your plant life cards, wherever they are, gain plus 15. And then your He Zangu card in hand gains plus 25 permanently. So you do want to try to play this card next to him just for that nice permanent buff more than anything. Obviously, we don't have plants in the deck, so that part doesn't matter for us. Uh, we do have one more Lu Dong Bin. Uh, your Chinese folklore cards, wherever they are, gain plus 10 until played. And then when this ret is returned, um, for every immortal you've played this game, this card gains plus 10 permanently. So this card, at the end of the game, typically is our heavy hitter for 300 plus power. So you, typically it's cheaper too, so maybe cost three to play or something like that. So nice heavy hitter. Other cards we've added, the Bayex Tapestry. I don't think I'm saying that right, but whatever. Uh, your history cards, wherever they are, gain plus 10 until played. So just a nice history buff since we have tons of those in the deck. We've got Hell for the late game. We tend to lose the early, game, early rounds until this thing gets going a little hot and heavy with all the buffs. So Hell kind of helps us towards the late game get a little extra. We already talked about Alexander. We've got Marco Polo. Really want to play this if we're if we're pretty confident we're going to win the turn because we really want that um, 15 buff on our history, not on the arts and culture. So keep that in mind. Anthony Cleopatra is going to be our discount for all our history cards for the round. So try, want to try to get that on turn one with um, Ludwig. So you want to play those cards next to each other. That way you get this 18 buff. And then we get the discount for the whole round. So that's the combo there. Want to play those two with each other. Or Bonnie and Clyde with Ludwig, worst case. But I do prefer doing it with Anthony most of the time. And then, like I said, Bonnie and Clyde. All cards in your opponent's hand lose four permanently. And this card gains plus 20 permanently. And if you're losing the round, repeat. So I think that's the entire deck. Uh, overall, it's played pretty good so far. Uh, we have lost a few just to some real heavy hitting decks, you know, the Planet X type decks, but we'll see if we can uh, pull a win out. Let's see if any of you guys are online, if I can get anybody that wants to play. N looks like nobody's on, at least green, so we'll go ahead and play leagues, see if we can get us a win with this. I keep wanting to climb up, and I just get too lazy every time. I just, I hate grinding to try to get to Dragon more than anything. I just hate trying to grind. So, that, and I'm, I'm trying to build decks and um, put content out more than anything right now. So, it's kind of tough to just spend a lot of time grinding up, I feel like. At least for me, I don't know about you guys, because I'm primarily in the trade room trying to trade for cards, but... But uh, anyways, as always, uh, definitely good time to say if you guys enjoy the content, smash that like button and hit that subscribe button down in the bottom right corner. Uh, you guys see I got my angel wings. So you guys that have been using my referral codes in the description, I appreciate that. Has been helping me get some cards. So thank you again. All right, we drew our ox right out the gate, which is nice. So we are going to get that plus eight really quickly there. Let's get him back just so I can keep drawing that. I want to keep getting that plus A on my cards. Flip-flop those. I don't want to play Polo yet because I don't think I was going to win right there. So didn't want to waste it. We're up against a Greek deck, so this can be a tough one. Andy's got Dark Web. Hmm. Probably going to be a tough one, but we'll see. Maybe this deck can hold up. Uh, maybe this is the turn to try. Uh, see if we can get the Marco Polo buff. 300 might... Nope. Should have said... I was like, yeah, probably not with the Greek. Greek's already putting down pretty, pretty big power early. Yeah, it's going to be a tough game. Going to be a tough one, guys. We're already behind pretty pretty 
quite a bit. So let's go ahead and just play uh, some of these cards that are lower power. Just get them out of our hand. Might even just chuck hell here. Yeah, I think that's fine. So we'll draw it back. Round three. All right, so bad start for us there. I think I think we're going to be struggling on this one. Probably might even be surprised if we went around here. This deck is a little underwhelming early, like I said. So if, if he's coming out guns blazing like that, I think this is going to be tough. We got our Anthony Cleopatra, but we don't have our Ludwig, unfortunately. All right, let's uh let's just drop some heat down here. That gun in action. All right, got a little lead here. There's our Ludwig. Do I want to play it now? Yeah, let's go ahead and play it. We're going to only get the discount for this uh, one round with Anthony and Cleopatra, but I do want to get this buff online. So now we're behind. Yeah, it's going to be a tough game. I hate playing Greek. It's such a strong deck. There's our ox. Look at that nice buff we got. All these look the same, so I gotta like double check them. Ooh, excuse me. Let's do this, and then we'll play him next turn. Dang. Look at that, he's dropping 590 already. Those are the kind of numbers you want to see him do in late game, not <laughs> rounds one and two. That's when you know it's going to be a tough match. All right, looks like he's got us here. Yeah, it's probably going to be last round. Don't think we're going to be able to beat this deck. This uh, Immortals deck just isn't strong enough, I don't think. I mean, it's putting down decent numbers, but it's not going to put down those numbers the Greek decks can put down. I mean, none of these cards are limited or anything. They're just a lot of basic cards, so I wouldn't expect it to keep up with a, a top-tier deck anyway. I feel like I'm putting down some respectable numbers, though. Hitting almost 500 there. Here's our hell. Maybe we can secure this round. Hmm, debatable. Probably not. Oh, wow, we did. All right, well, we won one round at least. I'll take that. See if we can do two. Here's our Ludwig combo. Let's go ahead and get it going. Let's get this gun down with it. Definitely destroying us here. So pretty far behind at this point. 
It'll be about 250 down. Yep. All right, there's some big cards we just drew. Let's see if we can uh, stage a little comeback. This deck doesn't have too much trouble with energy, as you can tell. My energy level's staying quite high. So that's it's got that going for it. Yeah, I think I think we're just outclassed here though. That's alright. I think the deck's still doing really well for what it is. For those of you looking for a decently cheap deck. Still putting down 500 power turns. All right, well that's the that's the deck, guys. We'll uh, we'll try one more. See if I can play something that's not you know a top tier deck. But I'm not gonna hold my breath. That's what sucks about playing leagues when you get this high with random decks is. Uh, we're gonna be playing tough decks that, and here I am playing a kind of an off-meta deck. Let's see if anybody else online, so maybe I don't have to get my butt kicked like that. Uh, there's Akashi. I think he wanted to play one with me the other day. Let's see. All right, there we go. We got a game. Hopefully it doesn't bring anything too crazy against me. All right, first round here, we got our arena. So we should have a good shot, at least for this round. Let's shoot him a little hello. Oh, is this another Greek deck? <laughs> I think it is another Greek deck. <laughs> I just said I didn't want to play a Greek deck. Come on, Akaji. <laughs> You're killing me, man. You're going to watch this video now and be like, Oh, dang. I did it to you. I'm going to be like, yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. I'm going to give you the cry face already. Because I'm like, no. Why you do this to me? Why? <laughs> All right, do we even try to win this? Well, yeah, I guess we did draw our guy. Yeah, we can try. This is probably the best we can do here. It's not going to be a lot. <clears throat> oh, my gosh, did we just win by, like, two? <laughs> and that was the Chinese folklore round, so it's going to be a tough one. Maybe we'll do it. Thank you, sir. I got lucky. I want to say that. Where's that? Come on. Come on. Refresh. Refresh. Come on. I'm cl if you guys can't see, but I'm clicking it. There we go. I got lucky, sir. All right, there's our nice discount. All right. So all the cards buffing each other up there. Ooh, 
Ooh, nice yellow jacket turn. All right, we got a little bit of a lead here. Not much. We need a good draw. That was a good one. Hopefully it's enough. Dang, there we go. All right, we got two. Did, who didn't see this coming? <laughs> All right, Furies is going to trigger on us now, though. So we're going to lose some permanent power, unfortunately. All right, we got our Marco Polo. Let's go ahead and get it down. Get the gun down right here. All right, good turn for him. Kind of screws our Marco Polo up. Probably need to toss my hell here eventually because we're probably going to lose this round and potentially the next. So if we can get it back round five, it's probably going to be the best timing on it. So I might just chuck it here. So let's chuck it, the ox, and this. I just want to get it out of, out of my hand really more than anything. Kind of concede this round since he's already kicking our butt really bad right now. I'm, look, I'm looking to get Franz out of my hand as well. Problem is, looks like that's when I'm going to draw these cards now is round five. At a not so great time. So I really need to try to win round four. It's kind of what it's looking like as he's burning my cards up in hand. So I think, I think we get this buff down. We don't care about this discount. So let's do it like this. I want that 18 buff going into next round. So hopefully we can draw all of our folklore cards here for some heavy hits. That's what I'm hoping anyway. Because if we make it to round five, as you saw all the cards I just played, I don't think we're going to win. So I need to make it my priority right here, right now. See if we can do this. All right, so where's the card that buffs everything permanently? Is it this one? I think it's this, this card. Yep. All right, so that's buffing. This is the card we want to play last because he's going to get the... Well, no, I guess it doesn't matter at this point, does it? Are we... Well... If we play him, if we play him here, we might get him on the last turn of the game. Worst case, so let's do that. Yeah, let's get all these guys down. I think I gotta win this round. Let's give him a thank you, sir. All right, we drew all our heavy hitters, so this is looking decent for us. Nice 579. Yeah, I'm liking this so far. Really didn't think we were going to win this game, so... Uh, oh, oh, I shouldn't count my chickens just yet. Echo, I forgot about her doing work on me there. All right, let's get a good draw here. Here we go. Really good draw. Let's get our max down. And hope it's enough. Here we go. I think we got it. Woo! Surprised we got that game, to be honest. <laughs> Thought for sure he was going to get us. But all right, guys, that's the deck. You saw, I mean, we, we beat a Greek deck there, so not too shabby.
didn't think uh, didn't think that was going to happen, but I'll take it. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the deck uh, for a uh, for a, definitely a lower tiered deck. I think it played pretty decent. So um, definitely uh, not too shabby. But if you guys enjoyed the content, as always, hit that like button, uh, smash that subscribe bottom right corner. It definitely helps out the channel. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.